Hey there! Today we're going to be talking about do-it-yourself photography tips. Make sure you watch till the end of my talking because then you'll be able to see my daughter and I in action as we take pictures. Hey friends, Bridget Summers here, getting it done with my five kids. One of my favorite things about changing seasons and holidays, birthdays, is the fun photo ops. I wanted to hop on and give you guys some tips and tricks for how to get some cute photos of your kids as well. Cute kids. One of the reasons that I take pictures of my own kids is because it's free. It's also convenient because I don't have to have all my kids ready at the same time. I don't know about you guys, but it's hard to get ready for family pictures and have all your kids looking perfect at the same time. So if you do a little photo shoot at your own house, you can do it when you want to. You can have one kid ready and all glamorized to go for a picture. And then the others are all in their pajamas. Ah, pajamas. Who doesn't love messy hair and pajamas? then you can switch and get another kid ready. That's one of my favorite things. Also, it's just in more of a comfortable environment that your kids are used to so they can relax and enjoy and be themselves. Okay, so the first thing I wanna talk about is your backdrop. You can make it as extensive and beautiful and immaculate and crazy and full of stuff if you want to, or you can make it just simple. My favorite is just simple because I like to use a lot of props. So you kind of want to think about backdrop and props together. If you um, have like a really busy backdrop, you really don't need a lot of props. But if it's pretty plain and simple, you might want a lot more props. So for the backdrop, some cheap free ideas are a tablecloth or fabric that you have laying around the house that you wanted to sew something with. Um, you can use a rug. You can use blankets. I, one of my favorites to use is wrapping paper. Here's the wrapping paper I use for our backdrop. My husband bought some cheap birch tree looking wrapping paper. And then I just cut out some ribbon, some Valentine ribbon that I had and taped it up on the wall. It's cheap, you can throw it away after, it's easy to tape up and there's some cute options out there. So definitely look around your house for things that you already have that you can use. And then find a space in your house that's preferably close to a window. And then you wanna go through your house and find props that match with the theme you're going for. Here's just a little snapshot of some of the props that I used. So I was just going for Valentine's. So I chose different Valentine things that I already had in my home. You can use teddy bears, you can use pillows, you can use clocks, you can use suitcases. You're gonna want to think about who you're taking the photo shoot of. If it's a baby, they obviously can't stand or sit up on their own. So you're gonna wanna maybe look for a basket that you have or a box, or maybe there's a suitcase that you have. And you'll want to kind of mess around with maybe some pillows and blankets and get it so that you can prop them up right. Then you'll wanna take it from several different angles for a baby just to make it look just right. Now, if it's an older child that can sit up, maybe you have a cute chair that you've never even thought, oh, that would be a cute prop. You can turn the chair backwards or sideways. I used a little rocking chair for my girls. And then I also used a bench and I did have suitcases in there for height. So when you're looking for props, you also want different heights and different textures. So maybe a furry blanket or, or rug or pillows, and then maybe like some silk or lace, and then you want hard objects. So you kind of want to just get different textures as you go. So once you have your backdrop figured out and your props and what you want your people to sit on, your little, models to sit on. From there, you need to decide on an outfit. Now, in choosing an outfit, I love to layer. Whoa, 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 whoa. Not that kind of layering. That's a bit too much. I love to layer, and I love to go for, again, different textures. So, one of my daughters is wearing a fluffy dress, and then they've got a big hair bow, and another one is wearing a dress with a vest and cowboy boots. They don't really necessarily go together but they looked good in my photo shoot so you want to just layer and you want to find different textures and you want to make sure the colors go with your backdrop and go with your props from there you just put them in the backdrop 
and you may actually have to move different items in your backdrop around. For instance, I put our rocking chair in there, thought it looked awesome, put our little model, our baby in there, and then I decided I wanted to switch the rocking chair to the other side. Different models in and move things around again. When you are photo shooting with a toddler or a baby, you want to make sure that you have something maybe that they can hold to distract them or toys that can make them giggle and laugh. For our photo shoot, I used teddy bears and I also used these little hearts. Um, and maybe another person with you. I used my oldest daughter and she was the one that got my toddler and my baby to smile for these pictures. And she was able to rearrange their hair or their outfits. So you don't have to do it alone, obviously, but those are my tips and tricks to making a cute photo opportunity for your kids <laughs> to share with others. So good luck. I hope you guys learned a little bit of something from this video um, and happy Valentine's. Once again, here's our backdrop. It's just wrapping paper, so you can keep it pretty simple. Then I took some Valentine ribbon, cut it and taped it on as well. So here is the props that I found just for my own house. I just ran around the house looking for things that had different textures, different shapes, different sizes, and that would all correlate color-wise. And you've made it to the fun part of this video. You get to see my daughter and I in action as we create this fun Valentine photo for our little sweet girls. Myself, I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. Try not to hold me down. Feel alive when I'm in this town. Look at these beautiful stars. I wanna drive a faster car.
myself I'm gonna be someone else I'm gonna be myself I'm gonna be someone else I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes Try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Look at those beautiful stars I wanna drive a faster car Nothing can break me Nothing can break me Try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Look at those beautiful stars I wanna take a trip to Mars Nothing can break me As always, thanks so much for stopping by my channel and for watching. Make sure that you hit the like button, subscribe, and also ding that bell. That way you know when new videos pop up. Thanks so much!